Well, three astronomers with the Vatican Observatory have received awards for their work that brings broader perspective to the subject of the Catholic Church and science. One of the astronomers is Professor Christopher Granny. He has been recognized for research on the work of past Catholic scientists. He received the 2021 Nelson H. Minich Prize awarded annually for the best article published in the Catholic Historical Review. Joining us now is Chris Graney, astronomer and historian of science with the Vatican Observatory. Chris, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this prize and also the topic that you focused on? Well, there's so there's three people at the Vatican Observatory recently who have received prizes, uh, Dr. Ileana Kenichi, myself, and uh, the director, Brother Guy Samagno. Uh, my research, my project er, was uh, research regarding uh, Galileo Galilei, a very famous figure in the history of science in the Catholic Church, and some of his Jesuit uh, astronomer critics uh, who, who he had a little back and forth with. Well, that is fascinating. And I also understand the Vatican Observatory uh, recently uh, announced a new mathematical model uh, drafted by two Catholic priests for describing how gravity worked at the time of the creation of the universe. Uh, what more can you tell us about that? Well, um, they, we're, we're very happy about it. Um, they both are cosmologists, so they um, study uh, gravity and how it functions, and they discovered some problems with existing ideas uh, about gravity at the very beginning of time when, uh, the, when the universe was very compact. And uh, that they have worked, you know, they, they, they worked through the problems and, and proposed a new alternative and, and got it published in a very uh, high ranking journal. And we're very happy to, to have that and to, excited to see where that goes. And Chris, what other projects are you currently working on or maybe have in the works for the future? Um, I, I continue to uh, work on uh, history of science. My, my uh, area of interest is uh, the, uh, Galileo and his opponents, the people, you know, what, what were the people who he was arguing with? What did they have to say? It turns out that what they have to say is a lot more interesting than, than what we might think. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a very complex and, and, and dynamic argument. It tells us something about how science works. We, we see that, that just how complicated it can be to answer even relatively simple scientific questions. Um, and, you know, then, uh, the uh, the Vatican Observatory as a whole is excited about trying to work at uh, roboticizing the telescope that we have on Mount Graham in Arizona, our main telescope. So those are a couple of projects that uh, the, the second one, the roboticizing, I mostly just have fun talking about it. <laughs> it's not my project, really. Well, that's so exciting. You know, I was curious, and I didn't ask you this earlier, but I'm wondering, you know, what was your reaction when you found out that you won the award? I was really happy. Um, it is uh, it is from the uh, the Catholic Historical Review. That's a journal that's published out of the Catholic University uh, of America, and it's been in publication since over a hundred years. I think of 105, 106 years. Um, and uh, it, you know, I, I'm putting out some sort of new ideas about uh, the history of the Church and science and Galileo, and and it was really nice to get this recognition that hey, these ideas are kind of cool. You know, to, to see that. Um, you know, get a, a little uh, a signal of approval, if you want. Well, it's incredible, and congratulations, really. What a great honor for you. Chris, before I let you go, curious, um, is there anything else you'd like to touch on uh, that maybe you think is important for our viewers to know? I just said uh, that there's a lot of interesting things that have happened with the Vatican Observatory in the past year. Um, I was on before talking about the discovery of a trans-Neptunian object. Um, we've had this paper published with, uh, in Physical Review D that you were talking about with uh, the gravity at the beginning of the universe. Um, we've had these awards. It's a good time to be at the Vatican Observatory right now. It's very some exciting things going on. That sounds like it for sure. And Chris, thanks so much for coming on and talking to us about all of this. You always enjoy our conversations. Really fascinating. Uh, thanks for your interest. And uh, we're, we're, we're glad to know people are interested in astronomy at the observatory. We love it. Thank you so much, Chris. All righty.